You're now listening to the Hip Hop Stop here with me, Connor Banley, and we have it. We got new sense in the building here tonight. How are you getting on, buddy? How's the form, you, man? Oh, not a bother. Jeez, that's a bit loud there. Thanks for coming in. No bother. Thanks for coming in. We also got Nugget here as well. We get him on the mic in a little bit. Uh, can we have a little bit of an introduction of how basically you can go from the start? Where how did you start off? Um, oh well, I got into it when I was about twelve or thirteen. I'd say um, just can buying CD singles. They used to come with an instrumental attached, you know. So I thought I'd give it a go and was pretty poor at it for a long time but yeah, yeah. then I got it together and we started gigging about 15 or 16 and we've been kind of doing it ever since and progressively kind of getting bigger and having more of a fan base so from how you that's um, what would you say what age were you about 15 uh, well I doubt I started a bit earlier than 15 but I started gigging at 15 or 16 yeah what year was that probably about jeez I don't know <laughs> Put you on the spot here. Yeah, I have a clue. What, <laughs> 2004 or 2003, probably. What was the response like when you started rapping? Did you get any negative feedback? Or uh, Yeah, absolutely, because um, it wasn't as big then, you know, and it, w- it wasn't as accepted, I wouldn't say, to be able to, like, rap over here or whatever, so it was still kind of still kind of raw, like, but uh, now there's a lot more kind of MCs and stuff, so it's it's easier to, like, it's easier for them to say that they're, they're hip, they make hip-hop, whereas for us, we kind of had to convince a few people that we were good enough to do it like, yeah 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 you got the YouTube there as well so anybody can troll band they want absolutely yeah and that, that that can be a problem at times as well because you kind of have to as you were saying earlier on you kind of have to filter through kind of a lot of muck to There's get a to lot, it. there is a lot of shit yeah, yeah absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I do find like I can I can I can go to my room in the morning and just put up a video and like oh yeah a rap like you know what I mean yeah. that's not it's, that's not generally rapping to be yeah. honest with you that's just having the crack like you know what I mean absolutely but in the same sense like we're lucky to have YouTube because we certainly don't have like a lot of support from TV stations and radio and stuff so it's kind of amazing that there's such a following for Irish hip hop now I think and it's just down to the, the power of the internet because. Um, like the radio stations in general just kind of tend to ignore independent music. Oh you know? yeah, definitely, definitely. That's what. That's why. Well, I'm on a community radio station here, and I have the freedom to do what I want. So that's why I do get all the artists in and give them a little bit of exposure. Yeah. Like obviously yourself, if you're doing the big time now, you know what I mean. You got a song with Lupe Fiasco coming soon. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's. Hopefully it'll do the business. Hopefully right, it'll yeah. do the business. But like I try to support like the local rap as well because mm. there's no point in having a radio show like myself and then saying, well, I'm only going to play Jay Z and Kanye West. You Absolutely. Know? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, do you think the rap game has changed since you started in Ireland? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, um, it's definitely stronger. There's more c- like consistency, and um, there's better acts in general. Like there's there's more good acts. There was a few that stuck out years ago, but now there's a lot that that I I would consider the finished article at what they do and a, a variety of different styles as well. You know, is there anyone in particular that you're like the moment? Uh, Apart from class A's and yourself. Um. Yeah, well, I'm listening to a bit of, like, Sun's Fanatic and stuff like that, and uh, I, f- I follow everything, you know, uh, yeah. Rob Kelly's Rob Kelly stuff, the new one with Bleak and stuff is big, like... Yeah, we're going to have that on later on, actually. Yeah, um, uh, no, I check for everything. Yeah, it's, uh, Sun's Fanatic as well, have a new song, you know, re Yeah. 25 o'clock in the morning, lad, that's going to play that, actually, I was, I was listening to that online, someone posted that the other day, I'm not sure if it was yourself who posted it, I was like, jeez, I haven't heard that in ages. 25 o'clock in the yeah, morning, well, that's absolute, absolute classic, classic, yeah, too. classic. I have it there, I'm going to play that after this. But um, in terms of you're saying you have um, have you got your you've got obviously the on tick mixtapes that they're only if they're coming out yeah um, what's the feedback being like on that yeah brilliant like you know we just stuck it up for free download because we hadn't put out now in a while like I just got back from traveling and stuff so um, we hadn't put out now in a while as a group so we we stuck that out for free download it's been good feedback and uh, now I'm working on a solo thing and obviously the the single coming out now next week onto the radio so onto the, the Lupe Fiasco thing yeah absolutely had enough new sense featuring Lupe Fiasco yeah tell us a little bit about the old um, Spin 103 competition uh, yeah well basically one of the lads uh, the, the lad that produced the tune Jamie he um, he entered the song into the competition I was actually away travelling but um, it, it, it it was the breakfast show that put the the competition on and I'd actually mentioned Ryan and Tracy in this song that I'd previously recorded like ironically enough you know just out of blue like yeah that. yeah and so they sent that song in for the competition and then it was it went down to the top three that they'd, they'd chosen themselves Lupe and David Miller I think and um and then and then I won the vote like by, by a few votes but it was kind of funny because I was up against Raw Soul like who was actually in a group with me like yeah, so it was yeah, a bit yeah. ridiculous but but yeah, happy days. Anyway, we got the verse after a while, and uh, 
yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing what the feedback is. Did you get, did you get any like feedback after winning that competition? Did you get any more followers? Did you get any more likes? Yeah, absolutely. But you know, like definitely at the time, um, because there was sort of a buzz around it, and that's that's what we're trying to get back now when the when the single goes out. Because obviously, I, I'd still be, I was still away at the time, so now I'm kind of focused on making the tune as big as it can be. You know? Yeah. yeah. Where were you? Well, I was in Oz, and then we went to uh, Southeast Asia and stuff for a couple of months. Did so. you that for a few months, yeah? Did yeah. you take a time off from the rapping and all that type of stuff? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Ah, like, yeah. a good year off. Because I was actually pretty burnt out, like, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I came back, but I'd left enough material back in Terrors, like, for him to drip out stuff while I was away and stuff and kind of keep me kind of relevant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it's happy days now. We're, we're kicking on with it again. So do you, do you yourself go, do you make your own beats or how do you go and source the beats or what way do you work? Yeah, uh, well, we have a couple of producers that do stuff for us like uh, Jamie McPeak and um, Tony Mahoney as well over in UK, uh, in the yeah. UK. Yeah, a few other guys like Danny Diggs and GMC do a couple of beats, you know, down in Cork, and we've a bunch of producers that want to make stuff for us. Fortunately enough, the produce the producing scene is actually bigging up a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the quality of the the production in Ireland's getting a lot better. Yeah, as well. is, which, yeah, which I think kind of like the production was behind the MC for a long time because I think there was better MCs than they had beats yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's all starting to level out now. I think. I think we'll go into one of your songs there. Yeah, we, cool, man. We have, um, we have Open Letter. Do you want to introduce that there and we get it going? Yeah, this is a tune dedicated to the, the memory of my mate, Graham Murphy. It's called Open Letter and it features a California rapper, Prozac Turner, on the hook. Check it out. What's the story, Graham? It's been a minute since I spoke to you last and stand. A lot of stuff has just been thrown in my pot. People don't see my issues because they know me to lie. I'm still broke, but now a few are knowing my tracks were both. 22 now, seeing life from a different view now. Losing the plot, I need to cool down. Feels like I'm working just to piss it. And all the lives are still the same, so nobody knows any different. Is this living or is life laughing at me? Been a while since I got the bus home for Saget. I've been, been a while since Wu Tang hoodies and Echo Track. But if I could go back there now, I would gladly Left college quick like a boy, whatever Now I need to get my life together And if it's the only way you'll hear me till I see you again I guess it's worth it just to speak to my friend Walk with me now Love, it can change the mind of a pessimist Change ain't no time like the present is free It's a miracle we even get to live hope You gotta believe that you will get through this pain It comes to us all, you must embrace it Death, it's part of our lives, we gotta face it Heart, put it back together when they break it Life, you get what you give I guess it feels sometimes it. that I'll never be making no money Every cent that I earn, somebody's taking it from me And the bank is messed up, we gotta pay for our country No wonder Stephen Ireland won't play for our country Wish I was more privileged, then maybe I'd give a shit Maybe then I wouldn't be witnessing Like diminishing the fashion trends are ridiculous Blokes putting makeup on and all, man You be rolling around a bitch with this breathless Chasing these dreams, gonna embrace them Locate the wrong Steps that I walk gonna retrace them I land you trust them or much you're gonna pay on And if you love someone too much you're gonna hate them uh, That's how the world works But what's the world worth When the people closest to us leave the world first I feel the world's curse Deal with it silently It's for my people upstairs I hope they smile for me Love, it can change the mind of a pessimist Change ain't no time like the present is free It's a miracle we even get to live hope You gotta believe that you will get through this pain Come to us all, you must embrace it Death, it's part of our lives, we gotta face it Heart, put it back together when they break it Life, you get what you give, you I gotta never thought about it. what a teacher said I hang around the street and stare I had a couple little hustles that'll keep me fair And now the graduates my age are making piece of bread I'm brainy up but dumb enough to never even keep ahead You were in the same boat, we went down the same roads Went to turn, but we found the other lane closed And as the days go, all I feel is the pain grow Things can get good, but it's not the fucking same though 22 broke, I had, I had my own broke I was a smart kid and now I'm just a grown dope Paranoid, but whatever's not in my own scope Broken down, carry the weight with life's tow rope Sometimes I see you, but wake up and you're gone And all I'm left with is the words from a song And you'll never be forgotten while I'm taking to you Stay in touch, mate, I'll speak to you soon My open letter too Love, it can change the mind of a pessimist Change, ain't no time like the present is free It's a miracle we even get to live hope You gotta believe that you will get through this pain It comes to us all, you must embrace it Death, it's part of our lives, we gotta face it Heart, put it back together when they
they break it Life, you get what you give, it's what you make it You're now listening to the hip hop stuff here with me, Connor Branley, and that's a new sense. That's open letter. What a quality tune that is, and he's here in the studio. New sense. And uh, we spoke a little bit about there about the Lupe Fiasco single. Hmm. I know we just touched on it. So when are you expecting the drop the Lupe Fiasco single? Hopefully, um, yeah, it should be on radio this week. I'd imagine, like probably from Tuesday or Wednesday onward. So if anyone's out there listening at the moment, and obviously everybody will be listening on Facebook or you're on the YouTube listening tomorrow. Make sure you you share, like as much as you can, and get it as much players out there. Absolutely, as possible. Yeah, absolutely, as possible. Yeah, we're trying to get in there. Um, you said that you we're trying to get a bit of a verse going. Do you mind? We get one going. Have a beat yeah, here. Cool, yeah, man. go yeah. for it. Uh, just get the old song on here now. This is the hip hop stop with Connor Brandley. We uh, have a little bit of a verse here from uh, New Sense. Privileged we are. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, I like my beats nice and banging, my words just might bless it My Nike size 11, my bros in tight leggings, Xbox on a big screen, 40 or plus Got them bars for the radio, 40's enough These rappers nowadays with a buzz, they better tank me I was here when you were getting burped in a blankie Only 24 but got the art like Banksy And bros to make the Georgia Sabbath tad look manky Rap's mine this year, that time this year I got money on the motherfucking line this year If you're heading to the bar, Sonny mine's a beer Knew he knew what you thought I was a pioneer Ha, I'm sick of being broke, man. The stress of that. Had enough is the single, so request the track. On the hip hop stop, I'm giving debt to raps. Off the books this year, no one can test the fact. Haters talking some envious shit, but they don't really wanna ever be an enemy with. Nui, I got them acting all defensive and shit. Running off the stage on some Brian Kennedy shit. Wouldn't excuse my mistakes, why would I pardon yours? Guess I had to get ahead. Far and nor, can't even afford to keep a car in chore. The night times are fitting scene for my darkest words. The euro was dead and that's dangerous I go for a piss in Mario Balotelli's jacks Tell these raps from the soul You can tell it's fact Truth from the speakers Every time you hear this fella rap Tell the industry be scared If you're on Facebook Reshare On Twitter Retweet there Inhaling lies Every time that we breathe air But new sense to give you the truth So prepare Woo! Woo! That's pretty cool that is. We will give you a little bit of a break there and we'll come back. Absolutely, this yeah. is the hip hop stop here. Only in Dublin South FM. We'll get an L uh, we we'll get another one of new sense songs going in there. Under a little bit of pressure here to find it. Hang on. Like a scruff in the boot, barely standing on my own two legs. My homie kinda for a new trend. Bear my grow be soon. I still wouldn't put a blade with the face. Tells the story of the hardship, so I savor it. Give my life to this music, so I'm a patriot. Let me see them hands in the air. We're gonna take a trip. Yeah, like. This shit is nothing like it used to be. I used to have a laugh and I could feel you see. But I'm not fucking around no more. We're not getting any younger. Every knockback makes me stronger Yeah, yeah, to who I may offend And to others that are sitting on the fence This life is a mystery I'm trying to figure out before I'm history Your negativity it really doesn't mean shit to me Picture me, let me educate you people visually Wasn't up to much in school but always kept that dictionary When I first tried to write something click with me Liking what I had, had a vision of a different me Always try to keep it relevant Always kept progressing it, every single element Some tracks too cocky, many tracks put out with a sentiment And every time I felt the need to talk I was a hell but now nothing's going on to put a pen on it Like I give a rat of gay porn goes for president Feeling like these journalists are mocking my intelligence New sense, so I'll give you everything, that's definite Now this shit is nothing like it used to be I used to have a laugh and I could feel you see But I'm not fucking around no more We're not getting any younger 
Listen to the hip hop stuff here with me, Connor Brown. We've got new scents in the building, and that was getting no younger there. Another quality show, and that's available on the YouTube as well. So get like and get onto the YouTube. Also, where you um, if you want to find new scents, where we get you? Yeah, well, there's the YouTube there, and um, add me up on Facebook, new scents, N U C E N T Z, and uh, the Twitter, add me there, or follow me. At it's new scents. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. You'll get all the updates and everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the whole lot. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, it was generally just complaining about like the likes of Brian Kennedy making a sap out of himself on the Saturday night show and stuff like that. I yeah. didn't see what happened there. He just well, he made a tick out of himself. Like, did you not see it? No. Oh, so you probably have a bit of a social life or something. <laughs> 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 no, uh, yeah, no. He just basically walked off the stage. He looked like a muppet. Like, did he? Yeah, yeah but I, I think I have a major problem with him anyway. So. That's the lad who's on that new program, The Voice, is it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That voice is hilarious, lads. You know why? Because I was just saying earlier on, they say that you can't see the people. It's judged on voices. But when you go to do your audition, that they, they audition you face-to-face. So they get rid of the people they don't want there. And right. then they put the voice in. So it's not really the voice. You think they do the, the pre-auditions before. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the X Factor, though. There's like four auditions you have to go through. So when you see someone on the X Factor and they're really bad... They're being exploited because they've gone through like four auditions already. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, enough, yeah. It's an absolute joke. True. Uh, where for new, where's your musical inspirations? What's what what you listen to at the moment? Or like, where do you get like? Um, well, like I'm, I'm not really a fan of the rap that's coming out at the moment, like American wise. But I, I still listen to like the likes of uh, Mass Ace and uh, Wordsworth and Punchline, kind of. East Coast underground stuff like so. There be no one out there like at the moment in the mainstream stuff. So. Um, well, like I, I listen to Joe Budden a bit. Um, not really. First mainstream. album, a classic album, actually. Yeah, way underrated album. Though. Yeah, yeah. Now some of his mixtapes have been pretty good as well. Um, what about the Slaughterhouse thing? Would you be into Slaughterhouse? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I like Royce the Five Nine as well and Joe LRT as, as well. You know, um, absolutely. What do you think of the Royce the Five Nine Eminem thing that came out? I don't know. Like, I'm not really into Eminem to be honest. Like. I know I'll probably get slated for that, like, but I'm not. I'm not like his biggest fan. Like, I could see why you'd like him. Like, I liked Infinite and stuff like that, and the the, the earlier stuff. But when he started doing all them voices, and do you, do you remember he started? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't into. I that think now. Relapse wasn't great. Now, to be yeah, honest, yeah, I think there was a couple of them there that that weren't great. To be fair, like, I think. Yeah, um, well, I I I would be a big Eminem fan when it comes to Slim Shady all the way to Eminem yeah. show. I thought they were well. I thought it was good progression, but I think Encore went off a little bit. Yeah, and um. Well, probably relapse was just a little bit all over the kip, to be honest. I didn't know where he was coming from and that. And then recovery is a little bit of a recovery he made. I think it's good. Yeah. But uh, that's my chances of getting an Eminem interview around, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think we're going to have to cut that out of the interview. <laughs> we'll get that. Anyway, I don't know if you're seeing uh, Facebook. Remember we were talking about Rob Kelly, or, uh, Kelly earlier on during the week. And uh, there was a bit of controversy on the Facebook. I don't know if you've seen it. It said uh, Rob Kelly put a... Put a a comment up on his Facebook it says uh, people get annoyed when I'm saying I'm the best I'm supposed to feel like I'm the best if I don't then is there's no point taking part and the best who isn't me is new sense uh, that's my opinion you have a different opinion if you haven't but uh, it don't count what you making of um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah it's pretty cool like fair play to him and I respect his opinion but uh, I think there's it depends what, what, what your taste is who, who your favourite acted be and did like, you see the comment now? I did see it, yeah, yeah. Did you see the controversy after? I did, yeah, it yeah. Was <laughs> slow, it. it was absolutely it, it crazy. Just, yeah, it depends, like, what what sort of stuff you're into, like, who, who's going to be your favourite. No one's ever going to agree, like, you know, so he's probably into the kind of subject matter that I'm rapping about, but then, you know, people are obviously entitled to disagree or agree. 
whatever they want. There's loads of MCs as well, like jumping on. No, how can you say that? And all? Yeah. Man, you're Rob, you're not the best, but like that's the whole rap game, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, you'd have to have thick skin, like rapping, you know. I don't think like anything like that would phase like the likes of Rob or anyone else for that matter. No, like, no, you know? no. He likes to get it, but, but do you think he's just like, checked out today? He's like 120 comments on it, so that was a pretty big comment. <laughs> <made>. <laughs> yeah, why not? I suppose. But uh, Rob's doing it good now in Ireland for the last couple of years, so big up, big shout out to Rob Kelly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as well, we were saying you have an up- upcoming solo project. Is there any time soon coming? Or yeah, like I, I hope to have it out in the next like maybe three, two or three weeks. Uh, it's called Trying to Build a Life in Curse Words, and um, yeah, it's it's sounding pretty cool. Like I'm I'm pretty happy with it because I haven't done any solo stuff like proper solo stuff in in a good while, you know. So I'm kind of taking a fresh approach to it, and I think it's a bit maybe more mature than. The other stuff I'd recorded before you. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to thinking what people are. You're going to try to replay song of um, No, I won't be putting on No, no, that. maybe put it as a bonus. Or something yeah, like yeah. Um, are you going to shop around? Well, you might even get, like, what's the story with getting record deals? Are you trying your best, or is it just, no. you're just doing it as a hobby, or what are you doing? Um, no, I'm not doing it as a hobby, but I'm, I'm not really actively looking for a record deal either. We're just going to work as hard as we can to promote the tune ourselves. And, uh, I see what happens from there, you see know. See what happens. Yeah. But you're not gonna be you're not gonna be fucking crying. Oh, I certainly won't be crying now. Yeah. I haven't I haven't cried yet, like in the last ten years, so I don't think I'm gonna start you're now. You're not gonna start now. Yeah. And it's just it's just <laughs> it's just gonna keep going. <laughs> you just see a track out where he's just crying. Yeah, well yeah, well sometimes I cry alone, like, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, I won't do it on a tune, like Um so for the album, is there any features coming up on the album? Um yeah, well, there there obviously be like the likes of Class A's and Nugget features, and then maybe like a couple of different artists from from the states, like Wordsworth and stuff like that. And get Rob Kelly on the track, see so can we get Rob? Oh, Kelly absolutely, yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty big. Yeah, hundred percent. And you're saying what? Well, uh, probably probably said it already. But when's that gonna come out? Um, yeah, it'll be out like hopefully in the next two or three weeks. I'm trying to get it done as quick as I can. Are cause... you gonna put? Is that gonna be available on free downloads? No, um, no. I'm gonna be selling that one. We gave you a free download a couple of months ago, so you can stick your hands in your pockets for this one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, any any talk of price was it? Um, ah, yeah, it'd be a tenner or so. Tenor, right? yeah, yeah. That's well so yeah, listening, if you're listening out there, support the Irish hip hop. Absolutely, and um, I and I do appreciate like every bit of support we get on Facebook and the whole like um, it's it's more than welcomed, and um, it would be a lot more frustrating if we didn't have that core audience that we do that support us so much and reshare stuff on Facebook. So shout out to everyone that's listening there's a lot of, yeah there is a lot of love going on like there's a lot of love going on in the hip hop scene at the moment where everybody's try- sharing like there's not much hating going well there's hating to a certain degree mm. but like there seems to be a kind of a click going where everybody's supporting each other mm. well it's the best way isn't it like kind of move forward and I've no problem like if something I think is good I've no problem sticking on my page and promoting it or whatever and most people do the same so and um, any gigs coming up have you? Uh, well we're looking at doing like setting up a a headline gig like over the next couple of weeks as well so we're just going to wait and see how this goes on radio for a couple of weeks and then and then I'll, I'll probably be back with a bit of an announcement for a gig yeah happy days and can you well we get you in the show again if you absolutely want to yeah for another interview yeah and also nugget if nugget is here as well tonight and he's, he's beside new sense so if you want to get on the mic there and say hello get closer in there yeah, putting you on the on spot man, there. How are you getting on, Ari? I'm not too bad, man. Just Nugget is Bally Farmer, isn't it? That's Bally Farmer, yeah. Ba- ba- Ballyer's finest rhymes. <laughs> there's, there's a few pretenders to the throne these days that want to come for me crown, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what have you got to say to them out there in, in a cleanish manner? I know, they're nice lads. And there's actually, <laughs> to be honest, there's a lot more rappers around in Dublin than you think. And it's only since I really started down the rapping that I found out, well, not down the rapping, but really started putting my stuff out there and DFI came along. A lot of people have gotten in touch with me that live like really close to me and saying like oh, I've been rapping too for years, you know. So it's it's cool to know that there's all those people out there doing it as well, you know. Ah, I mean? oh, yeah, yeah. And they, like the support from them can be amazing as well because you know how hard it is to kind of get your stuff out. So they'll all kind of support each other, you know. That way. And you got any upcoming projects coming up soon? Um, yeah, I have a load of stuff. Um, I obviously I brought an album out like um last year. This the start of last year. We're in a couple of weeks. I had like most of a mixtape recorded. Um, kind of got a bit lazy then went back done a few more tracks so we were moving studio in that the last couple of weeks so I'm going to go out there hopefully in the next week or two finish that I've like an 8 track EP written ready to go as well after that and I'm going to just I was this year I'm probably going to put out a lot of free stuff because I brought the album out last year and I've really been pushing that trying to get that sold so kind of put some stuff out for free because I've never really done a, a totally download project you know what I mean so that's 
my aim anyway is maybe to get out two or three little projects like just free download and promote them like mad hopefully more videos and stuff like that like with the lads we put out some videos this last year and they've done really well so that does kind of seem to be the way forward is getting videos and stuff out the visual aspect of it seems to help it along a bit yeah you know? it seems to be instead of just posting up an old picture here and there and then well, just showing up the songs I think it's me looks as well people yeah. see videos <laughs> and they just think yeah I'm going to support that fella definitely <laughs> yeah I think you got a couple of texts in about him actually. <laughs> yeah actually I did hear actually that. you got one in there Nuggets of Riot I think you got one in <laughs> Don't, um, don't trace that number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as well, I noticed as well with the, especially with the class A's crews and likes of yourselves, there's a big work ethic there. Like it's not it's not overnight thing. He's are pushing it, pushing boundaries like videos left, right, and centre. Do you get any spare time to yourselves? Um, well, obviously you do. You were watching Saturday Night Live last night. I, I didn't really see that. Like someone was <laughs> talking to me about it. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, a well, small bit. Because I work as well, like so, not a whole lot actually. You know. See what happens, and then just I'm leaving on 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 on, the, on a good note. What, what's the plans for the next year? Plans for next year is to sit in every Saturday and watch the Saturday Night Show. Oh, uh, and watch the, the legend himself, the best interviewer out there. What's his name? Brendan off. Brent, Brendan Brent O'Connor. Yeah. Brendan O'Connor. The, the only reason that I was actually watching that show for the record was to see the animators. Like, I'm not a fan of the program. <laughs> <laughs> and big up the animators. A good oh, performance yeah, last night. My plan for the year is that I actually watch spaghetti westerns on a Saturday night on TG Car with me dad and have a few cans. So <laughs> I, I don't get to see the Saturday night show. <laughs> you're on. You're on to bigger and better things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stepping up. Uh, Thanks, lads, for coming in. No, I appreciate it. If you want to give an L, uh, we have Make You a Star there, the last song before we go. And uh, hopefully you can come back in the show at some stage. Absolutely. Enjoyed, yeah. So if you want to give an L an introduction. Or yeah, this tune is called Make You a Star, featuring Gabriella Marcella. And we've got Mo on the cuts, Mo K on the cuts at the end. Um, you can check the video on YouTube. Also, add me on Twitter at It's New Sense. Nice one. Happy days. Thanks for coming in, lads. Appreciate it. Are down. It was a time I couldn't even get a whip around After that spin stuff, these people wanna listen now Pretending they were missing out, just swear I have a different sound But regardless, we struggle through the hardship So if I start to come across rude, I beg your pardon I just want my own drive to stick a car in a house to have an acre in the garden We're starving Cause I've been rapping 12 years, picking my country up Before the Anglo-Irish banks sucked all the money up Before Roy Keane left the whole country stuck I was singing down in the dot I wanted my buddies up And I don't want much in life except the pack crowd Beats banging my loud, a coke to watch the jack down I just wanna make my mind proud I just wanna do it right on stage and make you spies out but never did I regret that This is my life, make the most of today I know I don't have a house to feel the home on the stage And that's what makes you a star And that's what makes you a star You're a star And that's what makes you a star You're a star And that's what makes you a star I know the life can be high Your dreams are never too far So keep your head up To single women raising children You're a star To artists trying to make a living You're a star To everybody in the building you know when they were gonna make it to a million The people trying to hold a job down Sometimes I had to get bogged down To all our loved ones who for God now You know we'll make it cause we're never gonna stop now I couldn't function with a 9 to 5 What would I reminisce on when I'm 95? Every day I spent up at a desk and made me die inside And not until I got back on stage would I feel I'm alive You know that feeling when the bass pounds Cue drums, hot beef, faster than a greyhound New ones, Irish hip-hop is my playground And I've been waiting 12 long years for this shakedown When I was younger, it never seemed we'd ever get a chance to be legit The irony, on the huff from school dreaming of being rich Before Sidney Sampson ever made Riverside my cousin they used to hammer me and FIFA over in Riverside A memories of what prepares for this game of life Projecting what I say on mics through every single page I write I'm 
Never shy to drop a rhyme full of soul Because I'm a star without the diamonds and gold It goes Girl, all I ever did was take a step back But never did I regret that This is my life, make the most of today Gonna make it to a million The people tryna hold a job down At times I had to get it bogged down To all our loved ones who for God now You know we'll make it cause we're never gonna stop now Rising to the top of the bottom, but how I got Rising to the top of the bottom, but how I got Rising to the top, rising to the top Rising to the top of the bottom, but how I got As long as I'm alive, it'll send me to that next shit Rising to the top, as long as I'm alive, it'll send me to that next shit. Rising to the top of the bottom, what's up?